Hey guys, Deplorable Deb here. I um, wanted to talk about something. Um, today, when I got up, I thought it was great news. Matter of fact, I was teary-eyed when I heard about the release of the young uh, gentleman that was uh, arrested in uh, North Korea last year. Otto Warmbrier, I think I said his name right. And kind of, you know, I just want to know if... Uh, Many people out there, many people that have children and grandchildren, I think it's something that you should bring this to their attention, you know, maybe to get a point across. You know, when we think about why he was uh, arrested and then co uh, convicted of 15 years, I want people to understand some. This young man was arrested for stealing a, pro a, a political pop propaganda sign. Now understand where I'm going with this. Um, it just shows that where these countries have great law and order. Am I for what their harsh punishment is? But let's understand something. Um, they don't have things like this happening. And my point is, is that this young man, and this is what I believe, I believe he did what he did because of the way things are here in the USA, okay? I'm not calling him a certain political group, uh, a liberal or a Democrat, because I don't know. But what I am telling you is that it's because of the way things have been in this country, and especially under Obama, okay, where we have no law and order, you see what I mean? That we have stuff worse than what he did, okay? Like, we got people burning flags, okay? We got people shitting on flags. This is the stuff that really aggravates me, and that's why I'm saying, please, show this story to your children, to your grandchildren, to show them just how better we have it here, except, except I don't want them to get the wrong message that it's okay to do it here. No, the point that I'm trying to, to show is, look what happens when you, who, who's an American, goes over to one of these countries and think a little petty thing that you're doing here, one, because you have no respect, see what I mean? Look, I don't know anything about this auto, but I'll tell you what, it broke my heart, okay, because he is an American, to know now that he's coming back. Uh, for the past, I think, year, he's been in a coma. So there's issues there to see what happened to him. They're claiming he got uh, a case of botulism. Do you think that deplorable Deb believes that? No, I believe that not only did he get a harsh punishment, but he might have got the shit beat out of him, okay? And that's what happened. And nobody said nothing. A week ago, a week ago, they allowed a group to go there to check up on whatever is doing, and that's when they were told the condition of this American, which is sad. But we still got a, 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 an issue to point out to a lot of these young Americans here or anybody, and I say it again, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat, liberal, Republican. This just shows, okay, how our laws here are very lax. No law and order because of the crap that goes on here. Can you picture in other countries uh, a, a, a cop, a policeman there pulling someone over and these, and these young kids don't want to listen to law and order? Look what happens. Just look. Just point out to your grandchildren and your children what happened to this young man and why he was sentenced to 15 years. Remember what I said. 15 years for stealing a propaganda sign, political sign, I think, off of the hotel that he was staying in. And I still believe, I still believe that most likely this young man... Uh, probably wouldn't have done this, or maybe he's done this uh, because of maybe the colleges he went to and the schools he went to and saw how a lot of these uh, alumni, okay, do stuff like this. I don't know why he did it. Maybe he did it 
for a joke or to be a hero, but look what happened to him, and it's sad. My heart goes out to his parents, and I hope this young man will recover from this coma because now he'll get the proper help here. So again, I'm asking for you, for everybody out there, to please show your children, <clears throat> show your children, your grandchildren, just what happened, and point out to them that it has a lot to do with what goes on in this country, that when we have young people going over to other countries, they think they're gonna pull that stuff. Sure, go ahead, burn a flag over there, okay? Burn a flag, disrespect, and see what happens to you. And it's not that you're going to wish that you were in America, because in America, the liberals here, they let everybody get away with stuff. No, you know what? South Korea, North Korea, Japan, all these countries, no, they're right with their strict laws, because you know what? People are living safer there. Till I report again.